Welcome to Kingdom Kids at Home Virtual Sunday School. Let's begin. <laughs> oh, hey guys, sorry I didn't see you there. Well, this week's Sunday School lesson is Jacob's Ladder. Did God ever send a baby to your family? How exciting! Isaac and Rebecca must have been doubly joyful. God was going to give them twins. The baby struggled inside Rebecca. When she prayed, God said her two sons would lead two nations and the younger one would be greater. Usually the firstborn was greater. At last, the babies were born. The twins were not alike. Esau, the older boy, was very hairy and grew up to be a skillful hunter. Jacob was smooth skinned and liked working around home. Father Isaac loved Esau the best. Mother favored Jacob. One day Esau was hungry. Give me food, he told Jacob. Sell me your birthright, demanded Jacob. Esau did not care about God's promises to the firstborn. He made a deal with Jacob. Now Jacob would head to the family when their father died. God spoke to Isaac one night. I am the God of your father, Abraham. I am with you. I will bless your descendants. Although Isaac forsook God, his son Esau married two wives from the Hittites, oh, a people who didn't care about God. Isaac grew old. Please bring me fresh meat, he told Esau. Then I will bless you. This special blessing was from father to the firstborn. Esau hurried out to hunt, but Rebecca had overheard. She wanted Jacob to be blessed. Rebecca had a plan. While she quickly cooked the food Isaac loved, Jacob put on Esau's clothes and hairy animal skins on his hands and neck. Isaac did not, could, did not see well. Perhaps they would see. Jacob brought the food to Isaac. You sound like Jacob, Isaac said. But your hands feel like Esau. After he had eaten the food, Isaac blessed the son kneeling down before him. Just after Jacob left, Esau came to Isaac. Here's your food, he said. Isaac knew he had been tricked. I cannot change the blessing, he said. Esau's heart filled with hatred. He decided to kill Jacob. Did you guys hear that? You, you should never do something like that to your parents. Oh man, I can't watch this. <laughs> Rebecca heard Esau's threats. Go to your uncle's house, she told Jacob, until your brother forgets what you have done. Isaac agreed that Jacob should seek a wife from his mother's family. So Jacob left home. That night, Jacob stopped to sleep with a stone for a pillow. Perhaps he was lonely, perhaps afraid, but he was not alone. God spoke to him in a wonderful dream. Ding, ding. Whew, there's a lot to unpack here. Well, let's begin. Jacob treats his brother Esau and father Isaac with a bowl of stew. Okay, next. Jacob's mother, Rebecca, helped him do it. Okay, now that's just dun, dun, dun. Okay, Jacob used a rock for a pillow. That's also dun, dun, dun. Okay, Jacob dreamt about a ladder from heaven and God spoke to him. Okay, and the last one is a toy named after the Bible lesson, Jacob's Ladder, like Jacob, Rebecca, and Latin. It's pretty tricky. I am the God of your fathers, Abraham and Isaac. 
I am with you. I will give you this land by your family. All the families of the earth shall be blessed. After God spoke, Jacob awoke. He was afraid. Jacob's uncle Laban welcomed him. Jacob loved Rachel and served Laban, Laban seven years so he could marry her. But on the wedding night, Laban cheated Jacob. Dun, dun, dun. This is Leah, not Rachel. Jacob complained. You tricked me. The oldest daughter must be married first. Laban said. Now, marry Rachel also and serve me seven more years. Jacob agreed. Perhaps he remembered his own trickery towards Isaac and Esau. Jacob had eleven sons. As years passed, he longed to take his family back to Canaan. His parents were there, but so was Esau, who had vowed to kill him. Was it safe? One day God told him in return. Jacob gathered his family and flocks set out for home. What a trip it was! Esau came to meet Jacob with 400 men, but he didn't hurt Jacob. He ran to meet Jacob and gave him a big hug. Jacob and Esau were friends again, and Jacob was safely home. Uh -oh. When the saints marching in, now when the saints go marching in, yes I want to be in that number. I when the saints go marching in, ah oh, y'all sing pretty out there.